If you're interested in paranormal footage, you've probably seen a million orb videos and photographs by now. Some people believe them to be disembodied spirits. Some say they are simply dust particles and insects distorted in a camera's spotlight. But there is another theory that I find much more interesting, and it could hold the key to a secret alien invasion that is happening right now under our very noses. I'll admit this theory is way out there, it's something that I personally find difficult to be entirely convinced by, however I find it compelling enough to look at with an open mind. I'm going to be looking at two YouTubers that deal with the alien orb invasion, Scott Payne and Super Mush Mouse. I tried to contact each one to get more information on their ideas, but none have responded, so I'm going to piece together what information I can from their videos. From what I can gather, the main idea is that the Earth is being invaded by alien orbs which can cluster together and take the shape of other objects. The orbs themselves are invisible to the naked eye, but can be filmed under certain conditions. They most often take the form of insects and birds, so that they can live among us without raising suspicion, but they can also take the form of any other object, even humans. The theory also encompasses chemtrails, Morgellons disease and holographic illusions. Things such as planes, people and even the moon are holographic projections created by the orbs. Somehow this all links in with the wider plot of the alien invasion and their plans for humanity. When enough of these orbs are attracted to an area, they will cluster and take over the landscape. What at first appears to be normal trees and buildings, on closer inspection is revealed to be enormous alien clusters which undulate with life. The first channel I'm going to examine is Scott Payne, whose username used to be Ghost Scott when I first discovered him. The earliest videos on his channel from about 7 years ago concern alien implant removal and feature him using some sort of electronic foot bath device to extract a dark substance from his body. There is also a video where he uses a high powered torch to film magic dust, which he claims comes from chemtrails. A couple of years later, Scott begins uploading security camera footage of a strange glowing orb that seems to move about outside his property. From then on, he uploads regular footage of these strange orbs. It all seems to happen in his front yard. He calls this area the Alien Orb Airport because it acts as a sort of landing spot for these extraterrestrial visitors. Over a number of years, the orbs appear to gain in numbers and the activity increases. He also captures what he calls the alien orb power line, a long thread which he claims is made of the same substance as the orbs and acts as a kind of hatching spot where new orbs are created. Of course, people watching his videos have commented that this could just be a cobweb on a lens of his camera but Scott attempts to disprove this in later videos by trying to sweep the thread away with a broom and spraying it with water, both of which have no effect on the power line. This is because, as he explains, the power line is in fact interdimensional and not affected by things on the physical plane. He describes seeing these orbs passing through the walls of his house and into his property. He occasionally sounds upset, understandably so, because he's very distressed by this invasion. His last Alien Orb Airport video was uploaded in 2014, but he is still active on YouTube. I'm not sure why he stopped filming the orbs. Perhaps they finally took control of his recording equipment, or threatened him with physical harm. Or maybe he just felt he had gathered enough evidence. Whatever the reason, I wish Scott well, and I hope he has found some respite from these alien invaders. The second channel I'm going to examine is Super Mush Mouse. Super Mush Mouse has thousands of videos on his channel. A lot of them are over an hour long, so trawling through them all for the best evidence is difficult. However, I do have a few favourites. Most of the videos on the channel concern the local area of Toronto. Mush Mouse films the landscape in an effort to capture the orbs in action. He also spends a lot of time filming the moon and stars to prove that these orbs are creating a false moon hologram to further their sinister plans for Earth. As there are over 2000 videos on his channel, it's impossible to go through all of Super Mush Mouse's theories and ideas. 
However, he does a good job of condensing some of his core ideas about holographic light beings at the end of his video titled Stars and the Cosmic Egg Theory. I will read out what he has written, because I find his ideas very interesting. Orbs are superior intellect light beings, intelligent pure energy clusters. All orbs are telepathic and can transmit and receive thoughts. Orbs control and manipulate all forms of energy and can manifest in physical forms of all kinds, shape, size, and colors, etc. by clustering, shape-shifting, manipulating the periodic table, splintering and redistributing into smaller orb units, reconstitution, adapting to every type of environment, dimensional shifting, and exist everywhere in an infinite number of forms and shapes and can change into their pure energy form instantaneously and at will. Not all orbs are the same, there are many varieties of orb species. The queen lays and tends her eggs and young. Adult orbs revolving around the circumference of the nucleus provide powerful electromagnetic charge, creating energy, radiation, heat and an EM field which holds the eggs in an egg sac or pouch, which collects and stores this charged energy for sustenance and life environment of the eggs and young. The orb cluster nucleus stores so much energy that it generates tremendous amounts of radiation, heat and pure light so that it becomes a star and creates the opportunity for evolution and life cycles of lower physical life forms to take root and flourish. As in our case, the star we depend on is the sun. So as you can see, not only are these creatures viewed by Super Mushmouse as sinister invaders, but as architects and engineers of life on Earth itself. Beings that impersonate God and control our lives for a purpose known only to themselves. In one of his videos, Mushmouse draws and describes a giant robotic wasp that once invaded his parents' home and which he had to fight off. The drawing here is shown to scale. It must have been a terrifying experience, but luckily he was able to kill the beast and save his family. Unfortunately, he didn't think to preserve the corpse or get any photographs of it. This would have been a crucial piece of evidence in his attempt to uncover the truth. However, on other videos, he does get some footage of some much smaller black wasps. Supposedly, these are part of the same species of genetically altered insect as the one that attacked his parents. On another video, he captures a glitch in one of the orb's holographic projections. This bird appears normal at first, but on closer inspection, you can see that it has two pairs of wings. This is all part of the orb invasion. They are creating fake insects and holographic birds all around us. And it is only through vigilant citizens like Scott Payne and Super Mush Mouse that we are finally able to see the truth. The scariest thing about these videos is the scale of the invasion. Super Mush Mouse shows that large swathes of downtown Toronto have been completely taken over by swarms of orbs. Officers now act as incubation and spawning locations for more orbs as they fly up from the buildings in droves. Given the scale of this invasion, it made me wonder, have orbs taken over my local area too? I definitely don't have as good a camera as Super Mush Mouse, but I decided to try and film some orbs anyway. This is the footage that I captured. My first experiment was inconclusive. I did capture this strange man who seemed to be composed entirely of light. And maybe this bird's holographic, but I'm not experienced enough to identify such things to say for sure. Overall, looking at this footage, it seemed like my local area had remained mostly orb free. But then I remembered Scott Payne's video of the alien power line. In bright weather, the power line was invisible. It was only when the light began to dip that it became visible again. Super Mush Mouse got some daytime footage, but it was filmed over a large city with a lot of air pollution. Perhaps this refracted light created the right conditions for the orbs to be captured on camera correctly. I decided to try filming again, but this time later in the evening as the sun started to go down. What I captured amazed me. The world around me is alive with orbs. They literally swarm over every visible surface. Scott Payne gives some good advice for capturing orbs on camera. If you have a camera phone with a flash on it, 
All you have to do is take some pictures with the flash in your own residence and you will see these beings. More than likely they will be in your house. I decided to give this a try in my own home. I captured this footage by switching off all my lights and aiming a high powered torch down in front of the camera lens. As you can see, my home is full of the things. I've been sitting here perfectly happy in my house and all this time I've been surrounded by alien orbs. Now the more skeptical among you will say that this is just dust particles reflecting the light and that low light levels cause the camera sensors to overload and this is what causes the grainy image seen in this video. But then again, maybe the naysayers in the comments are being controlled by the aliens to spread this information. There's no way to know for sure. So, do you believe we're being invaded by shape-shifting interdimensional light beings? If so, how do we fight back against such an invader? If they really are as all-powerful and unstoppable as they seem, is there really any point in trying? I for one welcome our new plasmatoid overlords. I'll leave a link to the channels featured so you can go and learn more about the invasion from their own videos. Thank you for watching and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for regular spooky content. Until next time, goodbye.